We have sent men to the moon, launched unmanned spacecraft on alien planets, and turned our exploratory gaze to galaxies millions of light years from our earthly home. While all of these astronomical milestones have always been interwoven with insightful observations, countless unsolved mysteries still exist in the universe, reminding us that we are still very far from understanding the cosmos in its entirety. The unusual polar lights discovered some time ago on the mighty Jupiter was expected to cause many years of puzzlement for experts, until now. In fact, with the help of the space probe Juno, experts succeeded recently in coming closer to the true background of these spectacles. What this phenomenon is all about in more detail, you can find out in today's video. Want to learn more about groundbreaking discoveries and unique processes in space on a regular basis? Then remember to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell to stay up to date from now on. By giving us a thumbs up, you're showing us that we can keep you excitingly informed with the content of our videos. Auroras on Jupiter those luminous phenomena caused on our blue home planet by excited nitrogen and oxygen atoms of the high atmosphere are known as auroras. The colorful dancing formations in the firmament, which seem as if they came from a magical fairy tale world, are probably one of the most majestic natural spectacles that our Earth has to offer. However, in view of the overwhelming beauty of auroras, we should not ignore one fact. It is by no means a phenomenon that occurs exclusively on our terrestrial home. If a planet has its own magnetic field and atmosphere, the unique formations can also appear there. How the lights in the sky are created on Earth has been known for quite some time. While quite a few of our ancestors still believed that they were supernatural phenomena, we now know that auroras are created when electrically charged particles of the solar wind hit nitrogen and oxygen atoms in the Earth's atmosphere and ionize them. The recombination that starts shortly thereafter, or in other words, the neutralizing unification of electrically positive and negative charge carriers is finally accompanied by the emission of light. Much more mysterious, however, is the background that leads to the formation of such auroras on the imposing Jupiter. Since NASA's Voyager 1 spacecraft transmitted the corresponding findings to Earth in 1979, we have known that the breathtaking light shows also occur on the largest representative of our planetary system. In the following decades, the auroras on Jupiter were to be observed many more times. With the help of ground-based and Earth-orbiting observation instruments, such as the Hubble Space Telescope, a strike characteristic of these phenomena was soon recognized, the so-called twilight storms. In detail, this refers to short-lived but intense brightenings and broadenings of Jupiter's auroras, which always occur where the gas giant's atmosphere emerges from darkness after the end of Jupiter's night. Before NASA's Juno spacecraft reached the giant celestial body in July 2016, however, experts were unable to observe the process up close. In fact, everything that happened on the night side of the planet remained hidden from the researchers until now. In the context of the investigation of the Jupiter Aurora, it's not impossible from the Earth to take a look at the night side of the poles. While Juno is not the first unmanned spacecraft to visit the realms of Jupiter, it's the closest. Galileo, Voyager, and Cassini approached the planet from quite large distances without flying past its poles. So for decades, scientists were unable to draw a holistic picture of the gas giant. The data currently being collected and transmitted by Juno thus represent a turning point in the history of Jupiter exploration. Novel Insights Thanks to Juno's mission, experts realized that the unusual light storms occur on the night side of the planet. As soon as Jupiter rotates, the approaching sunrise virtually rotates with it to the day side, as a result of which the already complex, bright auroras become even more intense, ultimately radiating hundreds to thousands of gigawatts of ultraviolet light into the universe. This striking increase in auroral brightness, which occurs on Jupiter during dawn, means in detail that the morning storms release at least 10 times more energy into the gas giant's upper atmosphere than ordinary auroral displays. Viewed as a whole, however, the spectacles on Jupiter show certain parallels to terrestrial phenomena, the so-called substorms. These occur on our blue home planet as a result of temporary disturbances in the magnetosphere, that is, the area of space around our Earth in which which charged particles are influenced by the magnetic field. 
According to researchers, the apparent similarities between the terrestrial substorms and those on Jupiter are both unexpected and puzzling. This is due to the fact that the magnetospheres of the two celestial bodies are fundamentally different. On our terrestrial home, the magnetosphere is mainly controlled by the interaction of the solar wind with the Earth's magnetic field. Jupiter's magnetosphere, in turn, is composed mainly of particles that originate from the Moon, Io, ionize, and are subsequently trapped by the gaseous planet's magnetic field. The new insights provided by Juno will allow scientists to study the similarities as well as the differences in how auroras form on different celestial bodies. With the Juno mission extended to 2025, researchers hope to gain much more information about the solar system's largest planet in the months ahead. The Mystery of Origins the question of how the auroras on Jupiter are formed in detail has been driving experts for several decades. Researcher Zhang Hui Yao, together with his colleagues from the Chinese Academy of Sciences, also devoted himself to this highly exciting question and ultimately came up with an exciting theory. To get to the bottom of this galactic mystery, the experts combined various measurements with observations from ESA's XMM Newton Space Telescope. This complex technical instrument has been in operation since 1999, observing the cosmos in the X-ray range. In fact, Jupiter's magnetic field, which is considered the strongest in the entire solar system, is accompanied by a certain effect. The auroras of the gas giant are so energetic that they mainly occur in the X-ray and UV range. In combination with the data provided by Juno, the thesis already briefly touched upon seems to be true. Juno's moon, Io, appears to play a crucial role in the formation of the auroras. The natural satellite acts as a kind of cosmic particle supplier. Since the celestial body is volcanically active, it produces large amounts of sulfur dioxide gas. The corresponding emissions will eventually also gradually enrich Jupiter's magnetosphere with oxygen and sulfur ions. However, the so-called emic waves, for which Juno was able to discover evidence for the first time, are also likely to play a central role in the ultimate formation of the aurora. In detail, this refers to instabilities in plasmas. The collected data indicate that such emic waves are in influenced by the electromagnetic waves in Jupiter's magnetosphere. Conversely, these same emic waves could eventually cause the charged oxygen and sulfur ions in the gas giant's magnetosphere to be scattered so that they move along the magnetic field lines at breakneck speed toward the poles. Once they reach the polar regions, they finally generate the aurorae in the X-ray range. What at first seems to be quite theoretical and difficult to grasp could hold a sensational insight. As a reminder, auroras on our Earth are also also created by protons in a comparable way. The data provided by XMM Newton and Juno thus allow the conclusion that auroras in the cosmos have fundamentally similar background mechanisms, regardless of how the rest of the celestial body presents itself. Auroras Outside the Solar System the importance of such investigations in the context of space exploration as a whole becomes clear to us when we take a look at the exciting discovery that astronomers recorded in 2015. At that time, researchers were granted access to auroras outside our solar system for the first time ever. As if this observation was not exciting enough, the studied phenomena showed at the same time that the extrasolar auroras were many times more intense than those in our galactic neighborhood. In detail, the auroras of the corresponding brown dwarf in the constellation Lyra were as much as 10,000 times more intense than those on Jupiter. However, as is so often the case, what sets these intense processes in motion is still completely unknown. The first assumptions of the experts are that the auroras could be caused by a hitherto unknown planet orbiting the corresponding brown dwarf. Whether this theory of the experts actually agrees with reality, however, still has to be verified in the context of future investigations. In any case, we're already looking forward to those findings that will help us to better understand the true background, formation mechanisms, and characteristics of cosmic auroras in the future. As soon as the experts record a new observation, we will inform you about it on our channel. We're interested in your opinion. What do you think about the exciting auroras on Jupiter? Just write us your thoughts, your suggestions, and your feedback to today's post in the comments below. Would you like to see more exciting videos on the topic of space? Then take a look at the other contributions of our channel, linked for you in the credits. Thanks for your interest, take care, and we'll see you next time.